Okay, we're here at the California Milpitas Buffet. And yeah, let's go eat. Okay, we're at Milpitas Buffet. We're trying random food. From that plate, the uh, chicken wing and the fries were the best. Maybe it's because they were the most fresh. They were hot and crispy. The other stuff was a little bit stale. The cheese fried triangle thing was pretty good, but it was cold and not <laughs> and stale. So. Yeah, the rib doesn't have much meat, but I like the flavor of their sauce. And then the duck is like a good sweet duck. This is all pretty good. Here's the next plate. There's two different kinds of crab. This, uh, was it snow crab and then this one? Some shrimp, some kind of fish, and some clams. Let's give these a try. The fish was pretty good, but a lot of little bones you have to be careful. Alright, they came out with more of the oysters that and see it's black bean sauce oyster. Let me give it a try. Here's a big chunk of the crab. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. So I prefer the fried crab over the steamed crab. Although the fried one, it's texture more of like a fish with a little bit of chew to it. But the flavor is a lot nicer. And then the um, clams I like more than the oysters. But usually I don't like oysters that much that are cooked. I like raw oyster. So, yep. I forgot to mention the fried shrimp was also good. All right, here's the next plate. Got a bad crawfish, look how gray that is. This was decent. This was almost like a coleslaw. This is fake crab and then that, the flavor's good but the texture's not. <laughs> okay, they have this, it's weird. They had buffalo wings along with all these other Chinese foods. Let's give it a try. The buffalo wing was surprisingly tender. It was good, if you like buffalo wings. Usually I don't care for them but that was pretty good. That tofu block most garlicky and it's like a fish ball almost mm. fried rice is okay it would be better if it was a little more dry mm. green beans decent let's try the shrimp shrimp feels like it was boiled too long <laughs> Let's see. Let's try this. Yes. Mmm. I prefer their Korean barbecue marinade. This is, nah. I feel it was a waste of a short rib. Mushroom. Mmm. Mmm. I like the mushroom. It's mushroom flavor. <laughs> Orange chicken. The orange chicken and this don't have any crispiness. The flavor's alright. For this one. Mm. I like the flavor, but the texture needs to be like crunchy. It's like soggy, mushy. <laughs> but the shrimp's good. Alright, got some sushi. I passed on the more plain ones. They mainly did the same one. They had the yellow pickled uh, daikon thing. I think it's daikon. And then uh, most of them just have the fake crab and stuff inside. As usual, the salmon's my favorite. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad? The sushi's, sushi's okay. Decent. Mm -hmm. But they don't have any of the more fancy ones with no, lots fish and stuff. Know. A nice assortment of like canned fruits and stuff and jello and puddings. Oh, they have raw oysters. Let's try some. They did have some raw oysters. They didn't look too good. I put some Tabasco and lemon juice. They didn't have a um, shrimp cocktail, cocktail sauce. Oh, <laughs> I need something to eat it with. Yeah, it was alright. Not fresh enough though. <laughs> Don't get a stomach ache from that one. Alright, got four different kinds of soup. Hot and sour seafood soup, uh, miso soup, and a fish ball soup, and all these. So trick, there's stuff inside. It's pretty good. Seafood soup was kind of plain. The hot and sour soup was eh, and miso soup's always my favorite, so it's good. This one's not very sweet. It's all right. The shumai is pretty good. That red bean bun is good. That's decent. This plain bao, pretty good, and the custard one also good. But if you don't like too sweet, that's pretty good. And they have the dan tat, egg tart. It was good, flaky, crumbly, um, not too sweet. It's good. Let's see, they have this. 
And here's the fish and crabs that we got. And the crayfish and other stuff. I don't think I have the stomach to fit all this stuff. <laughs> they also have vanilla and chocolate ice cream cones. Got some mushrooms in this. I didn't try the noodles though. These are the sushi stuff they got. Pretty good. I didn't try all this. And then they have a, what's that thing? Mongolian wok? They have some barbecue stuff here. And the barbecue chicken they ran out. <laughs> Here's the soups. Dumplings and stuff. I'm getting full, so I'm just gonna try a little bit of these. The sauce on this is too strong, but decent. I like this barbecue chicken. This is basically like those sardine, canned sardine thing. That's grilled, fried pretty good. And then you have the charred uh, corn. You know what that tastes like, I'm sure. <laughs> It is, and the total for two people at dinner time, $73.53. Hot tea, $1.25. <laughs> I like the ice cream, it's good. All right, let's try the random fruits. Peach. You know, typical canned. Not, not that good. And this mandarin or... Eh. And the pear. Mm. They're all right. They had a canned pineapple and then like sliced pineapple. Mm. Not ripe enough. Not sweet enough. <laughs> Tastes like they put it in water. Apple. Mm hmm. Apple's good. Can't go wrong with Jello. <laughs> um, grape. Mm. It's a grape with seeds in it. I was not expecting it. It's a globe grape. Okay. Banana with um, strawberry stuff. Mm, mostly taste of banana. Yeah. Tapioca pudding, but no tapioca. I like the flavor though. One more ice cream and we'll go. Last one. The cone is nice and crispy too. Good. Oh yeah, they also have chocolate syrup, but I don't want chocolate syrup. 